Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton tutorial series and tool paths where we learn on this one project. This is we are trying to create this part on a double spindle machine where we have in a we already create a total three number of videos where in the first video we learn about that how we can create a simulation and we show you in a simulation different kind of operations and operation sequence that's the very important for you guys after that we create a new second one video we show you that how we can we can do the job setup for this one part that's a very important part when we are talking about the mill turn and after that we show you that how we can create all these turning tool path for the left hand spindle so that's all these tool paths are available right at here and for in this video first I would like to show you a little, very good trick for you guys you have to click on tool path group and double click and you can modify this name and you can make this name as left spindle o p r a c t i o n s that's the best thing so we will get idea and basic things that what this group is covered and after that I would like to show you that how we can create a right hand spindle tool path and before learning about the right hand spindle tool path I would like to show you how we can successfully do the part handling on a milter so part handling that is we already uh, we cover right at here these all these operations or uh, options are available right at here and in the double spindle that thing that we have to learn that is called pick off it means your right hand spindle have to be came here pick up my workpiece and again it's going on initial position so that's why we have to click on a pick up and just say okay once we successfully just click this and just say okay so what is happening all the sequence all the things are happening and that is successfully covered everything and after covering all these things my workpiece is going to be came at the initial position from the right hand spindle so that i would like to show you in a simulation what how that all these things are happening so i have to select a complete spindle or I would like to say a complete tool path and just say G1. Once I click on this, so there is one new window is available and we have to click on a launch. Once I click on a launch, so there is a one new window is blinking right at here and that is opening a machine simulation where we have all these things like as we have a machine, we have a tool and all these things. So for that one, I would like to make a color changing and just play at the initial point I would like to increase the speed where the face turn rub finish grow thread and drill is also so I would like to reduce the speed a little bit we can also make the pack drilling and all these things and after that the most important operations that I would like to show you in this and that is called the part handling and now have a look how my part handling is going to be do and how it is going to be process right at here on a mill turn machine so that's the reason it is a two spindle machine so once it start to work first my tool is going to be take a reference position or turret is going to be taken on a reference position so have a look my first upper turret is going on a reference position and that's a lower uh, left hand upper position after that my right hand spindle came to this hold my workpiece and it is going on initial position so that's all these things successfully happening right at here so that is called a part handling so we are successfully now the our part is available from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle and now we can start to create a tool path on a right hand spindle so now have a look how we can create so in this video after now you will learn about that how we can create a tool path for the right hand spindle and what is the trick to create this tool path now have a look 
So for create a toolpath on the right hand spindle, first toolpath that we would like to create that is called a facing. We have to click on a face and the most important thing that we have to create a toolpath right at here. We have to click on this one position or this one option that is called access sub combination or spindle origin. So in a previous all the previous toolpath that was upper left side but now we want to create a toolpath for the right hand side. But the tool that we are our turret that we are using that is upper. So that's why the upper is it from the tool wheel came from the upper side and workpiece is holding on the right side. So we have to choose this one option and just say click. Choose the right tool for that one purpose. Click on a reference. Choose a re reference position. All these things parameters should be the same as the previous. So that's the trick when you have a double spindle machine you have to choose a right head in spindle and how you want to create the toolpath for the upper stream or with the lower stream that you have to choose in a proper way so that's the first operation i create a facing after that from here to here I would like to create the next toolpath that is called a roughing and the finishing both at the same time so that's we do the successfully roughing as well as the finishing once my roughing and finishing successfully done after that I would like to create a toolpath uh, for the grooving for the create a toolpath for the grooving I just have to click on a groove click from here to here a chain the tool which we have to choose on this is uh, the direction tool direction should be like this we have to click on here and make the value is from width 4 to 3 and have a look just say ok just say ok and now have a look when I create this toolpath now there is one collision is happening right at here so we have a one option for the solution we have to go in a grooving in a lead in lead out we can say tangent second is also tangent and just say okay what is the meaning of tangent it means my tool is going to become tangent to the workpiece so that time it is easy to control my workpiece and all these things so that's the best benefit when you have these kind of toolpath if you want to make your tool uh, till this one position so you can make the changes in the chain and something like that so that time your tool is going to be controlled like this so that's some basic options that you I hope you guys have idea and after that the last and final two operations that we have to create that is called a threading so for the threading that the threading value is m12 into 1 so for that one I would like to click on a thread I have to choose a proper tool but the problem is we don't have a threading tool which insert is available in this direction so what we have to do we have to double click on this click on a holder change the direction draw tool so insert is going in this direct length and just say ok again we have to choose a reference position for this and save so we can calculate from the formula m12 into 1 m12 into 1 m12 into 1 just say ok from the initial start position uh, that is the start position that's the end position just say ok but there is some collision is happening right here let me check this in axis combination that is in upper left we have to always choose uh, this one and just say ok now have a look all these things are perfectly there is no issue there is no collision we have to choose this is an upper right this is also upper right all these things are perfect so now as you can see all the toolpath are successfully created and I can select all these toolpath and just press a G1 and I can create a complete simulation for this one part and you can check out all these things 
so all the things that we completed created after a lot of hard work that's and all that's the best part of learning i'm sure that very few people will watch till now because i am also getting tired to talk from the last 10 minutes so now i would like to make a speed little bit high face a rough finish grow thread drill the part handling in the right hand spindle the first is face rough finish after that that's called groove and the last and final operation for the right hand spindle that's called a threading when we create a threading operation as you can see if you don't select a proper position for uh, that one option so you will always getting issue if you have a want to create a tool path for the upper right, uh, right hand spindle or a left hand spindle so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned a lot of new things in this one series so we will create we will see you in the next one series where we start to do some tool path on a milton machine so see you soon take care so